large number of competing nations this eventually has led to the adoption of the new concept that is the marketing concept in tourism by various countries promoting tourism the important point about modern marketing tourism is that it applies to situations where the choice can be limited to a relatively small number of brands giving the consumer a reasonable choice the process of selection thus becomes easier in the field of tourism this process is taking place by the increasing use of package tours a package tours is a travel plan which includes most elements of vacation such as transportation accommodation and sightseeing the entertainment the tourist product is a composite product whether it is sold as a package or assembled by the individual tourist himself or his travel agent the tourist product can therefore be analyzed in terms of its attractions its facilities and its accessibility now we can identify the market segmentation that is who what when where and how and these are the various market segmentations to identify the tools who are the, that is who are in the market segmentation segment that we would like to have then what are the requirements then when do we promote our market segment then where do we promote to the mark product through which distribution channels how do we develop marketing through the to reach the market so these are the basic uh, market segmentation to reach the people so for example attract we can say attractions in the in, of the of the three co basic components of a tourist product attractions are very important unless these are there these are three the tourists will not be motivated to go to a particular place attractions are those elements in a tourist product which determine the choice of a particular tourist to visit one particular destination rather than another so the uh, attractions could be cultural like sites and areas of archaeological interest historical buildings and monuments or scenic scenic like flora and fauna beach resorts monuments mountains national parks or even like uh, trade fairs exhibitions arts and music festivals games etc we can say about the uh, attractions what are the facilities available in the field we can see the facilities are those elements in the tourist product which are necessary aid to the tourist center the facilities complement the attractions these include accommodations various types of entertainments picnic hills recreation so on these are indeed important for every tourist centers then another another segmentation is accessibility accessibility is another important component in the tourist product it is means by which a tourist can reach the area where attractions are located the tourist attractions of whatever type would be a little importance of their locations are inaccessible by the normal means of transport it the tourist attractions are located at places where no means of transport facilities these become a little value the tourist attraction which are located near to the tourist generating markets and are linked by a network of efficient transport receive the maximum number of tourist so next what is the uh, what do you mean by tourist markets identification of markets like that of the product is crucial for any organization which adopts the marketing concept in fact the first step of marketing organization will have to take is to identify its markets the term market is used in a number of ways it may be employed to designate the place or where the buyer and seller of good service meets and between them the exchange interact transaction takes place the buyer of goods or services may be the actual buyer 
or the potential buyer. It may be used in connection with a particular geographical area of the in connection with a particular type of the service or product. In the context of marketing, tourism and promotion, all of the above aspects are relevant, but especially those related to actual and potential buyers, to product and or service and to geographical locations. An important additional element to be considered is the time factor. The market therefore can be identified or defined as the, the totality of actual and potential buyer of a given product or service in a specific geographical location at a given point in time or during a given period of time. So next we can identify the what is tourist market. A segment of the total market is of crucial importance with the view to avoid waste. It is essential to reach only the traction of the total market which is most likely to be attracted. Due to financial constraints, it is not possible for an organization to reach the entire market. Se segmentation of the market is therefore made in order to achieve the most efficient use of marketing resources. So now, the market segmentation is the process of identifying groups of buyers of the total market with the different buyer, buying desires of requirements. What are the advantages of the market segmentation? Number one is better place to spot and compare marketing opportunities. Second thing is makes finer adjustments of the product and marketing appeals possible to cater to the needs of the buyers and, and it can develop marketing programmers and budgets on the basis of the clearer idea of the response characteristics or of specific market segments. Then what are the benefits of the market, market segmentations? Understand what are the benefits? The benefits are understand the needs and wants, to, wants of customers. The second one is allocate marketing expenses efficiently, further develop products or services, then develop marketing strategies more pre preciously. Then, then there are three types of market segmentations. One is geographical segmentations, demographic segmentations, and psychographic segmentations. The under uh, geographical segmentation means under this the market is divided into different geographic locations such as cities, provinces, regions or countries. Demographic means this is one of the basis of the democratic var variable such as age, sex, occupation, income, education, social class, religion, etc. The psychographic segmentation means this is one of the basis of the psychographic variables which refer to such aspects of an individual as his lifestyle, personality, buying motives and product knowledge and use etc. Then the major segments are the vacation tourist. The second one is business tourist. The third one is the common interest tourist. So the major, these are the major segments in the market tourism. The vacation, the vacation tourist refers the vacation or the holiday tourist is the most common and popular tourist. He is immensely affected by changes in price and is easily influenced by skilled and aggressive marketing effort. This type of tourist is resort oriented like Rome, Bombay, New York, London, Paris or resorts are as much as, as Venice, Goa, Bataya, Miami, etc. The vacation tourist market has been regarded as highly seasonal. The second thing is business stories. The market for this category of tourists has increased manifold in recent years as a result of a large number of conventions and conferences being held in various parts of the world. A business tourist makes a choice of a particular destination depending upon the nature of his business. In other words, it is the nature of business which influences or determines of the choice. The marketing efforts, therefore, are not, a, not of particular significance in influencing the choice of the business tourist. 
the demand for business tourism is comparatively price itself easily the demand also tends to be largely city oriented and the visits shorter and relatively frequent the exhibitions conferences conventions trade fairs and similar other events attract this kind of tourism the third one is the common interest tourists the group consisting of the common interest tourists comprises visit to one relative and friends visit for the purpose of gaining knowledge or education for pilgrimages etc the demand for this type of tourism will be relatively price classy the average length of stay of this type of tourist will be relatively longer because of the presence of these relatives and friends common interest tourist will not be a significant user of hotels and other such type of commercial accommodation the visits of the tourist will not be frequent and is expenditure it will on his stay so the marketing in tourism due to the various factors mentioned above as compared to marketing in other industries needs a somewhat different approach tourist marketing to a considerable extent depends in various market factors mentioned above unlike the normal consumer product or service the tourist product is marketed as two levels number one is the national or regional tourist organizations will be engaged in a marketing campaign to persuade the potential tourists to visit the country or region for which it is responsible the second one is the various individual firms providing tourist services can market their own components of the total tourist product after the national tourist organizations have launched marketing campaigns to persuade the potential tourists to visit the country or region for which it is responsible thank you ma no, prima